Hello YouTubers, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. I remain your humble host, a Nigerian tech bro. Um, in this video, we'll be looking at um, installing the Wazel SIM tool on Kubernetes hosted on EKS in AWS. Um, our last video, we looked at the distributed implementation of the Wazel SIM tool. So, I then thought about it. What if we could just scale up and scale down automatically without having to manage these things ourselves and then the solution came up containerization kubernetes scale up scale down auto healing so first of all what is containerization for you to understand containerization you have to understand virtualization now let me paint a picture for you let's say you have a laptop that has four gig ram and um, two cores that laptop could do so very little things. And you have so many things you want to do. Then you then go and buy 20 laptops, the same specification, just so you could do those 20 things. Now imagine if you had one powerful system that could do all those 20 things. But then instead of buying one one system, which you then buy one. Now after you buy that one, you then virtualize that one system and you have 20 of them. So that is to say, you have one BS system, one physical system, and then you created 20 virtual systems on them. Now, imagine having 20 virtual systems and you pick one out, of, one out of those 20 virtual systems and then you install a solution like Kubernetes. That is massive. It's like having 20 systems on one system that is amongst 20 systems on one system. That is why we are looking at the Wazo SIM tool on EKS cluster because of the orchestration and the auto healing. So without wasting time, um, we'll go straight into the video. So before we begin this video, I want to already assume that you have um, an uh, AWS account, free tier or whatever kind of AWS account. You have signed up, you have a root account, you've set up your root account. So first thing we'll be looking at is creating a user that is not the root user to enable us to do all our activities and at the end of this video we'll be deleting that user. Or you keep the user if you want to, whatever your best practice is. Um, so going straight into the video, um, this is my, now you go, come to your AWS account, in my dashboard I have I am. If you don't have, you search for I am in your search bar. Now once you open I am, it takes you here. Now. Typically, you create the user group if you want to. Now, I have created my user group. This is my user group. Um, and I assigned um, a permission to that group. Um, I want to show you the permission so you can do the same. I assign a permission to that group. Administrator access. So, with this permission level, I have enough permissions for what I want to do. Now, you come to users here by the sidebar. Now you create a user. I'm going to be creating a user for this. So I would like to call that user U. Okay, let's call it YouTube. I would like to call that user YouTube. Um, if you are watching this video June 2023, um, you should have this option on your AWS account. Um, then um, I want you to select this option. Um, I could do another video on how we go about this, but for the purpose of what we are about to achieve, select this option. Put your custom password. You can use auto generate if that's your baseline implementation. Put the password. Um, then user must create a new password. No, we don't want that because we put the password ourselves and we are just the ones using this account. Then you click next. Now it's going to see how do you want to attach permissions and policies to this user? Do you want to do it directly or you want to assign it to a group? Uh, because I've already created a group, typically you create a group here and do that. So I already have a group, so I'll just select the group. I showed you the permission levels of that group. Uh, for curiosity purpose, you can click this drop down just to see if there's anything you need here. Um, I don't need anything here. Then you click next. I'm doing this because I want to assume not everyone watching this video right now has used AWS before. So, but if you have used AWS and you're familiar with the um, tool, um, skip this part of the playlist. Look, search the entire playlist for the part where the actual Wazo deployments 
is done on EKS and you know go ahead and do the job. So uh, you can download this. The purpose of downloading this video is to send it to a user, but I don't need to do that because I don't need to send it to anyone. And they say I haven't downloaded it, I don't care. So continue. So now that that is done, um, the next thing you would ideally want to do is to set up a multi-factor authentication and leave the user to do it themselves from their own account. So now we have created the user, we have assigned the user to a group with the permission level we need. Then the next thing would be to log in with this user account and then create our VPC. This is the networking. We have created our VPC, subnets, browse tables, internet gateway, and what have you. So we'll be doing that in our next video. Thank you for staying tuned. This is the Nigerian Tech Bro. At this point, if you are still in this video, please leave a comment, like, or click your subscribe button. Then maybe pay do Thank you.